It's hardly a secret that Halo is one of Microsoft's biggest franchises for the Xbox, and according to Phil Spencer, Halo is the reason the Xbox exists, and as their quote, biggest exclusive franchise, he wants to make sure the IP is properly managed and not overused. Well, he spoke in a recent interview with GameSpot and he said that he doesn't want the franchise to quote unquote burn out with yearly releases, but on the same token, he also does not want it to be underused. Instead of this, he expects that with proper management, it will still be around 20 years from now, which is quite ambitious. And he said, quote, We probably have had a Halo release every year for the last few years, but just around the cadence of things like Spartan Assault and Spartan Strike and obviously Master Chief Collection and the Anniversary Editions. In terms of the core releases for us, Halo is somewhat unique to those games. I like seeing the ability for us to get excited about a release, it kind of builds to a hype, and then it plays. I don't want to overplay or overuse the franchise. It's a franchise and an IP I expect to be around 20 years from now. I think it has the weight that it can support that, but I think the franchise, the franchise then needs to be managed in a way that it doesn't burn out. I want to make sure that we're cultivating it and growing it the right way. Then Spencer went on to say something really interesting, basically saying that even when you're dealing with such a huge, well-known franchise like Halo, the company has to earn the customer with every release, every time, as nothing is a given, even with a game with the name Halo in the title. And he also feels that developers are, well, responsible for keeping franchises fresh, otherwise customers will get to the point where they've quote, seen enough of it and want to move on to the next thing. And yes, it's definitely true that just churning out the same game over and over again can definitely burn even the most loyal customers and make people a bit sick of your franchise, really. I mean, just look at Assassin's Creed. It used to be one of my favourite gaming franchises. Not so much anymore. It's still a good franchise, don't get me wrong. Let's not exaggerate and say that it's bad, you know, even though the PC version of Unity was awful. The game itself was solid. It just wasn't anything new. The only new one we've had was Black Flag, and can they really repeat that? Possibly, but the reaction from a lot of people has to a, the new Assassin's Creed, and any Assassin's Creed that just looks like the last one is, oh, more cities, Assassin's Creed. <sighs> and that's exactly the reaction you don't want. Now, obviously, Assassin's Creed still sells by the bucket load, but could it sell bucket loads more? Possibly. Now you might be wondering, how are they actually going to keep it fresh? Well, one of the ways that Halo 5 Guardians will be kept fresh is by adding a sense of duration to the game by focusing on a multiplayer engagement. And then Phil went on to admit that Halo 4 did not retain players as much as they had hoped at Microsoft and that they took this lesson to heart by then creating a game that, quote, raises the bar on what you do in terms of stickiness. And apparently, this is where the Warzone and Arena modes in multiplayer come in. Spencer went on to liken these modes to a service-based offering as they provide you with more content, a reason to keep coming back after the core storyline ends. So there you have it, some really interesting comments from Phil Spencer. Halo definitely has the potential to be around for a really, really long time. And it just goes to show you that Phil Spencer and the guys at Microsoft had a lot of respect for this IP and want to do their best. Yes, they may stumble, they make mistakes of course, but they still have the intention for them to preserve it as much as possible. So, do let me know your thoughts and opinions guys. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.